Hey guys, welcome back to another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today, this morning, we are going to be looking at the dragon or the people that are born in the year of the dragon and what the week has in store for them. If you are a regular viewer now, you'll know how we do this. But if you are new, then we're going to go through this again. I'm only going to do this this week. After this, we'll jump straight into the readings because I think most people will know how we do it. But basically, I use uh, this deck here, which is the Chinese Oracle deck. Uh, it's a uh, it's a deck that I've got exclusively for these videos. It I don't use these um, cards for anything other than these videos. And for reference, I use the Chinese Zodiac book here, the Chinese Horoscope Handbook by Theodora Lau and Laura Lau here. Um, and I use this book uh, for pretty much everything that is uh, Chinese Zodiac. It's not a promotion. It's just. Uh, it's just um, letting you know what I use, just in case you're interested. Um, the cards here, we've done a few readings now, so if you're just interested in the Chinese Zodiac, you don't have to be a dragon or whatever, uh, check out the other videos or, you know, whatever personality it is. You don't necessarily have to be that um, that personality to learn from it or enjoy the video, so do make sure you check that out. But uh, we'll jump straight into it here. Um, these are the cards that I use. So we've got... Um, We've got black and white ones here. There's uh, yin and yang, as you can see. Um, these are the backs of the cards. And we've got 24 cards here. Um, we've got 12 white, 12 black. And we've got one white rat, one black rat, one white ox, one black ox. You kind of get it. Um, it kind of makes sense. It's self-explanatory. I'm going to shuffle the cards. And what I do is I close my eyes. I shuffle the cards. And I basically... What I want to do is I want to uh, set a um, kind of intention of, um, you know, how you're doing as a dragon person right now. Um, how you're doing uh, this week, the week just gone, and that'll be the first card I pull out. Then the second card I pull out will be like a uh, present card, uh, which is like how you presently feel. Um, and then we're going to do one like a prediction for the future. Now, the idea is, is next Wednesday when we come on and do... Uh, the dragon next week we'll kind of get a feel of where we are and where we're at and we'll do this every wednesday so if you are a dragon make sure you hit subscribe or tune in every wednesday because wednesday mornings is going to be your morning we're going to do the snake this afternoon as i say we've already done um we've already done a couple we've done the well we've done four already haven't we the rat the ox the tiger and the rabbit had some great uh feedback from those guys so just standing here with my eyes closed at the moment so i think i should definitely pick some cards now um, right, so I'm going to take that one from the top for the week just gone. We're going to take this one from the middle. Yep, yep, yep. And we're going to take the one straight from the bottom there. And there are the cards. Oh, what we got? Oh, okay. So we have got here two whites and a black. Now, I've said this before, I'll say it again. The whites are positive, the blacks are negative, but don't read too much into it. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't think that if you buy a lottery ticket, you're going to win it, because that, that does not mean that. And don't think that because it's a black card that it's all doom and gloom and the end is nigh. Um, you don't need to worry about that. Basically, what this means here is it could be worse, it could be better. It's as simple as that. Could be worse, could be better. So, dragons this week and presently you're feeling all right you're feeling quite positive you're feeling quite good about it feeling quite good about the week we'll get to this one in a minute um but first off let's have a look to see what's underneath card number one so card number one we've got the dog now this isn't a good card for a dragon is it i bet some of you dragons this week have had quite a conflicting week I think this week has probably been a bit conflicted for you, uh, dragons. Uh, you're not quite sure what to do or where you are or what you're doing. Um, but you don't feel bad about it. The white card is the positive card. You don't feel bad about it. Um, this has probably come, this has probably stemmed from or come from a lot of miscommunication um, because the dog and the dragon are on the same conflict line. So in the conflict circle, you've got your triangles of affinity, you've got your compatibilities, but you've also got your conflicts. Dog and dragon. That's a conflict line. As in, the dog and the dragon, they are like night and day. There is no communication here. Well, communication suffers as a result of this. So I'm guessing that any conflicts that any dragon has had this week has been down to miscommunication. It's been down to uh, lack of comprehension. There's just been something blocking 
in the way. And uh, that is what that dog card represents. But as I've said, you don't feel bad about it. You're not feeling bummed out. You're not feeling negative. It's a positive card. So whatever it was, you either resolved it or you came out on top and you triumphed. But it was still conflicting. This uh, this may have been a time this week where you've come you've kind of come to realise what you want to do. You've come to realise you know um, what your dreams and what your kind of dragon uh, kind of ego wants, and that's why it's conflicting. Potentially because you know that it's selfish, and you know that what you want to do is going to upset a few people. Hence the conflict. Um, but because you're feeling good about it, chances are you're going to be impulsive, like the typical dragon that you are, and you're going to do it, or you have done it anyway. But looking at the present card, it looks like things could have worked out, but it could have had consequences. But as I say, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but this does look very interesting. That uh, it is a positive dog card, which is the conflict. But this this does show that. There has been some wins. There has been some wins here. You've overcome some sort of uh, conflict or or some sort of uh, maybe maybe not even a conflict. Maybe just some sort of debate, an argument. You've come to terms with something. You've learned something. You've something positive. Of, something positive has come out of this week, which is unexpected because it was stemmed from a conflict or something that may have felt a bit incompatible or in a place that you probably didn't even think in the in the in a place of an unexpected place maybe maybe potentially what you found is that you were the one that was uh dragged into the conflict but you had support from like-minded people around you and that's why you've come out the other side and you've come out from uh from this maybe because you had a supportive audience you had people around you to remind you who you are you had people around you to you know to to push you in the right direction or equally so maybe somebody irked your ego somebody's bruised your ego somebody's upset you a little bit and because of that you've strived to do better turn it around and change it for the good and bring out the positive uh potentially that is what has happened I find that with most uh, conflicts when it comes to the dog and the dragon, the dog has a habit of sort of raining on a dragon's parade. A dog likes to knock the crown off a dragon. The dog likes to sort of ground that dragon, keep them down, put them down, sort of criticise them, be very cynical. That's not good for a dragon. Maybe that's what's happened here. Maybe what's happened here is that somebody's rained on your parade. You've had to, you've had to sort of... Uh, get over a bit of a bruised ego and you've come over and you've sorted that out. You've come out triumphant. You feel positive about it. You've moved into the time of the monkey right now. So that goes to, that goes to show right now that you did overcome something. You put words into action and you got your stuff done. You basically got it done. You're not messing about. This is the doer card, but not just any doer card. There's three doer cards. This is the monkey doer card. That, is considerably different than the rat do a card or the dragon do a card. The monkey is a very intelligent person. So what I'm seeing here is that during some sort of miscommunication or conflict, during this week, you've definitely had an ego boost and a win. You have put words into action or thought into action and you've got it done and you're doing it right now currently. The dragon and the monkey, they're very compatible people. They're in the same affinity triangle. So right now, presently, you're probably feeling quite good about yourself. You're probably feeling quite optimistic. It is a positive card. Um, and you're probably feeling like uh, your talents have been recognised. You you've proven your point. You've overcome something. Even if it's just proven a point to yourself, don't forget this isn't a competition with anybody else. This is a competition with you. So you have overcome something. And it may just be proving a point or learning a lesson for you and and you know what you're you're going through that doesn't need need to involve other people there is definitely a problem that needed to be solved the monkey is a problem solver so i'm seeing that there was a problem and you solved it as that uh, monkey card represents you are a problem solver and that has that has definitely helped this week and it's put you in a good place right now currently and this is potentially now a, a time to kind of um, look at new ideas, new prospects, new new kind of uh, ladders to climb or new pathways to clear. This is potentially. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a it's a good card to to base um, the foundations of plan making in. 
but it's definitely a good card to consider what new things you could do. Um, I would see the rat card as more of a planning card than the monkey card, but I definitely see the monkey card as a doing card, getting up, getting done, putting thought to uh, sort of paper, uh, writing down some plans, drawing blueprints, writing a list. I see it is time now to sort of prepare to get stuff done now. Um, you've proven your point. The week's over. You're feeling good about yourself. Let's now start putting, putting a plan into action for this week. But don't be so vigilant about it. Just just be kind of um, open minded. Be be kind of um, be kind of fluid with it. Don't be so rigid. Go with the flow with it. Don't don't set anything into a cemented place. Don't be so impulsive because that is a very uh, a very common dragon trait. What I feel you need to do now, though, is you need to kind of just make sure that your ego is in check because the monkey is a very egotistical card. It is a very uh, egotistical personality. Um, so you really need to make sure that you're not getting too ahead of yourself, too big for yourself. Like, I don't see that because if this was a black card, I'd see that your ego is too much and you do need to calm it down. I see that right now your ego is taking a win. And your ego is kind of being boosted a little bit. Your morale is there. Just don't let it get to your head too much. And maybe you do. And if you do, what's going to happen is that you're going to, you're going to, well, you're going to be ground to a halt because there's the ox and it's in a negative way. Um, you're going to rush too quick, dragons. You're going to rush too quick. You need to slow down. As I said, go with the flow. That's the ox card. It's a thinking card. You need to think about this. Think. <laughs> Calm down, slow down, things need to be thinking about. You want to get stuff done. You want to get stuff done because you feel like, you know, I've, I've proven my point. I, I know where I'm going. This is who I am. Look at me. I'm Mr. Dragon and I'm, I'm the best. And uh, you're going to rush straight into it. And you're going to hit that forceful ox right there that's going to tell you to slow down and think about this. And it's a black ox too, so it's being serious. Slow down. Stop for a minute and think because you're going to find this this week that there are going to be times where you're going to be stuck and you're going to think, why am I here? Things were going so great. And it's because you've hit the wall. You've hit the ox and you're going to. You're going to hit that ox eventually at some point this week. And even though, even though it is a negative card and it is the ox, don't, don't, you know, be in despair because the dragon and the ox, they do have a great deal of respect for one another. Um, they can cooperate on common goals. You know, this, is, this isn't a card that's here to stop you. It's a card that's here to slow you down so you can achieve these goals. It's basically telling you you need to think about some stuff a bit more. Think. Spend this week coming thinking. Thinking. And it's going to put you in a bit of a low place. You don't want to hear that. You're a dragon. You want to get stuff done. You want to get moving. You want to get up in the sky, fly around, burn a few bridges. I know, I know, but you can't. You've got to slow down because if you rush, you're going to hit this wall. You're going to hit the ox and you don't, want to hit, you don't want to mess with the ox. You really don't. Dragon or not, never. Any personality ever, I'm telling you now, never, ever mess with the ox. Oxes, they can be uncompromising if they're pushed too far. And dragons can be very domineering, so they can clash in that sense. It will turn out to be some kind of stubborn, unyielding conflict, or not even conflict, just some sort of stubborn, um, just sit down. It would be like a silent protest. So we need to, we need to think, we need to think about what needs to be thought about right now. That's what this monkey's saying, as I said earlier. The monkey is intelligent. It knows that there's things to think about. It knows that there's things to plan. It's not time to do that planning yet. It's time to spend this week thinking. Thinking about all of the stuff that's been happening over the last week or so. It's time to put that into thought before you put it into action. And I know you want to rush into it, but it's going to end, it's going to end badly. It's going to end badly and you're going, to, you're going to burn yourself out if you try. You are going to burn yourself out. Because this ox is telling you to slow down. It's time, like, what would be advisable right now is to agree for yourself what it is that you're actually wanting to do. What is your role? What is your aspiration? What is it that you're trying to achieve? Or where is it that you're trying to go? Think about these things. Don't do anything. Don't. This isn't a rat card. It's not telling you to get things done. You just want to get things done. Because your ego is telling you it's time to do it. But it's not. It's time to slow down. 
it's time to slow down and think about it. Because otherwise, you're gonna, you are gonna have a struggle. You are gonna struggle, and it could come with, um, it could come with some sort of consequence that could come from an authority, be it a boss or, or a, a, um, you know, somebody in the sort of, you know, police force or, you know, uh, council or something like this. If you do not. If you do not take your time and if you're not patient and think about this, you're going to hit a wall and you are going to be met with something authoritative. There's going to be an authoritative person that's going to come along and you, although you're hardworking, although you you think that, you know, there's no cause for complaint or, or cause for complaint, um, there is going to, there is going to be, there is going to be issues if you don't think about it and you don't, and you don't start to, and you don't start to kind of um, slow down and... And potentially take caution. Watch where you're treading. Because you'll get stuck, dragon people. You'll get stuck. And I know you won't believe it. Because your ego will tell you that things are great right now. What could possibly go wrong? And you're so up, up, up. But what goes up must come down. And it's going to. And you're going to hit a wall. And it's going to be bad. And it's going to be negative. And you're going to be all mopey. And potentially your ego might be bruised again. But, but... This isn't a negative card for you. It's not a conflict card like the dog. And it's not a affinity triangle card like the monkey. It's the ox. So realistically, it's neither good nor bad. It's just telling you that if you don't slow down, if you don't think about what you're doing, it's going to have some consequences. I will catch you in a video next week on Wednesday morning where we go over this again and we'll see how our dragon people have fared and how they have got on this week, uh, knowing that they need to slow down and knowing that they uh, that they um, have that ox force to, that, that they really don't want to reckon with. Let's just put it that way. They really do not want to reckon with that. Okay, dragon people, just don't. Don't go up against any authorities. Don't go up with anybody that is potentially, you know, in a, a higher position of power than you. Just don't do it. Um, if you have enjoyed the video um, and uh, it has resonate with, resonated with you, then please do put a comment below and let me know. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. As I say, we'll be doing this next Wednesday as well for the dragon. But we'll be back this afternoon to do a reading for the snake personalities. So if you are a snake, make sure you check that out. I don't do personal readings with these cards, as I say. These cards were these cards are realistically just for these videos however if anybody would like a personal reading i actually use um dragon cards by uh, diana cooper um and i'm actually uh, really enjoying these at the moment but these are the cards i do the personal readings um for and I've also got the book here, which is uh, by Diana Cooper as well, which complements those cards um, for a more sort of in-depth reading and uh, more information there. So if, if, if that is something that people would like, I, might, I don't charge for that. Um, I just do it for the practice and just because I enjoy it. So do let me know and I will see you in a video this afternoon when we do the snake personality or next week when we do the dragon again. I will see you then, guys. Have a fantastic day.